Welcome to Underground LA. Today we're going to take a look at the final resting place of Gail Russell. Now this was uh, asked of me by uh, Miss Mosaic on YouTube. She wanted me to go to uh, her uh, grave and uh, I obliged by that. It was a little difficult to find for some reason. Uh, some of them aren't marked very well. This one took me a little bit in the hot sun, but I did it. And uh, <clears throat> make it a little easier for myself, I'm just going to read uh, about her bio. So, uh, Gail Russell was born in Chicago, Illinois in uh, 1924. She moved out to Los Angeles with her family. Her father ultimately was a musician, but then turned, uh, started uh, working at uh, Lockheed uh, in Los Angeles. She uh, got by on her pretty looks, and she was known as the Hedy Lamar of Santa Monica. She uh, got picked up by Paramount Studios at the age of 18 and started making movies at the age of 19, and her career uh, pretty much took off from there. She uh, got married and then uh, started heavily drinking. So she would do movies, heavily drink, try to get dry, couldn't. Um, she uh, was uh, held in night over jail for a DUI in 1953. Her, uh, in 1954, she had drunk in public <clears throat> and paid a $150 fine. Uh, her uh, husband sued her and stated uh, she, she never does any housework and will not allow visitors or servants in her house. In 1954, she was admitted to the hospital in a coma for an attack of hepatitis. In uh, 1955, she hit a car and a couple with a baby. She was fined $50. The couple sued her for $30,000 and they sold out of court. Um, she went back to making films and then in 1957 was found unconscious on the floor of her home. In 1957, probably the most famous thing that she did was she crashed her car into Jan's coffee shop uh, located at 8424 Beverly Boulevard. Um, and uh, she uh, hit a janitor. That janitor sued her for $75,000. She uh, failed to appear in court because she was intoxicated and passed out at her house. She was uh, fined $420 and given a 30-day suspended sentence and three months probation. Uh, she went on to do a little more acting. She um, then moved into a home by herself or a, a one-bedroom place by herself. She, again, tried to get sober but couldn't, and uh, in 1961, August 26th, she was found dead in her apartment in Brentwood at the age of 36. Uh, there were empty vodka bottles by her side, and the house was full of empty alcohol bottles. She died of liver damage attributed to acute chronic alcoholism. She was also very uh, suffering from malnutrition. She's buried at uh, Valhalla Cemetery in uh, North Hollywood, California. Like, subscribe, tell me else you'd like me to see, and I appreciate everybody watching Underground LA or Mike Duck's Comedy.